Hello everyone, in today's video I am going to show you my step-by-step -step process of how I make lip sync animations in Blender Grease Pencil. In draw mode, use the box tool to draw a rectangle. Make sure it has zero subdivisions. Switch to edit mode, then select stroke. Convert type to N-U-R-B-S. Check Fill on the Materials tab, then Set Color. Create another layer for the tongue. Then in Draw Mode, select the Circle tool. In the Materials tab, create a material for the tongue. Draw the tongue. In order for the tongue to appear inside the mouth, turn on Mask then click plus icon to add a mask targeting the mouth layer. Now the tongue appears inside the mouth. Create another layer for the teeth, the add a material for the teeth. In edit mode, check auto lock inactive layers to avoid selecting strokes from other layers. Select stroke then on the drop down menu convert type to bezier. Press Shift-D to duplicate for the bottom teeth. Check Mask, then add a mask targeting the mouth layer for the teeth to appear inside the mouth. Now the teeth appear inside the mouth. In order to create the mouth outline, select the mouth in Edit Mode, then press Shift-D to duplicate. Press M to move to a new layer. Name Outline Layer. Create another material without fill, then assign to the duplicated mouth. All right, now we have an outline. In Object Mode, go to Add, then select Armature. Switch to Edit Mode, then check Names, and in front. Press S to scale, then press Shift-D to duplicate. Press F2 to name the bones. This is the mouth and the tongue bone. Press Shift D to duplicate for the top and the bottom teeth. Select the bones, then press M to move the bones to their respective collections. Move the teeth to the teeth collection, then the tongue to the tongue collection. Turn off their visibility by clicking on the eye icon. 
press Shift D to duplicate for the mouth bones. You can press F3 to rename the bones simultaneously. Press period key to set transform on individual origins. Then press S to scale. Turn on the teeth collection to create four other bones for the teeth. In object mode, select the mouth, then the bones, then press Ctrl P to parent to the bones. Now in edit mode in the vertex group section, you will see the names of the bones. In the teeth layer, select the top two points then assign to the upper teeth bone. Select the left point and assign to the left teeth bone, then select the points on the right side and assign to its corresponding bone. Do the same for the bottom teeth. Assign the tongue to the tongue bone. Assign the mouth points to their corresponding bones. Make sure to assign also for the points of the outline of the mouth. Switch to pose mode to test the rig.
some mouth poses which cannot be rigged are going to be drawn manually. On the second keyframe of the mouth layer, I draw the closed mouth. In order to remove the visibility of the other layers, press. I then select Insert Blank Keyframes on all layers. In edit mode, duplicate the mouth bone to create the mouth switch bone. This is going to switch between the different mouth shapes that are manually drawn on the timeline. Since the teeth, tongue, and mouth are on different layers, we have to put them all in a group. So on the Layers section, create a group, then drag and drop the layers into the mouse group. We do this so that the Time Offset modifier that will be applied later can affect all the layers in the group at the same time. Organize the layers in the group correctly since grouping affects the masks, hence the visibility of the layers. On the Modifiers tab, add Modifier, then select Edit, then Time Offset. Set Mode to Fixed Frame, then on Influence Change from Layer to Group. Then on the Group section, select the Mouths Group. Right-click on the Frame section, then select Add Driver. On Expression, multiply by 40. Then Object Select Armature. Select the Mouth Switch Bone. Then Space Set to Local Space. Alright, test in Pose Mode to see if it's working. In order to save the mouth poses, go to Edit, then Preferences. Click on the plus icon to add a folder where you'll save the poses. After you've added Go To to Save As, then save the current blend file to that folder. Drag on the left corner to open the Asset Browser. Go to Asset Library, then select the Asset folder that you saved the blend file. Click on the plus icon to add a catalog then name as Mouth Shapes. Select all the bones, then select Create Pose Asset. Type the pose name. Then on the Catalog section, select the Mouth Shapes catalog that we made, then Create. Now you'll see the image of the mouth pose has appeared. This means that the pose has been saved.
If you select all the bones, then click on this images, you'll see the poses changing. Using the image reference, I created the other poses the same way. To add audio change editor type from 3D viewport to video sequencer, then go to add then sound. This will take you to your folders where you will select the audio file. Switch back to 3D viewport Then go to playback, then select scrubbing to hear the audio when you move the cursor on the timeline. Hello everyone, in today's video I am going to show you my step-by-step -step process of how I make lip sync animations in Blender Grease Pencil. Hello everyone, in today's video I am going to show you my step-by-step -step process of how I make lip sync animations in Blender Grease Pencil.